University. The shooter is the person that goes. So through. I'm coming from the back side or the front? No, side? remember where you were. Remember how you was sealing that guy inside like this? Just step oh, just to the ball. The guy. Yeah, just wait. The percentage of losing starts to get higher. But other than that, guys, man, lay up lines, make sure we lay it up. We're not doing it. Who was it? Miller Grove and no, Lathonia. It was those, those two choices yeah, after he, Stevenson High School. Lathonia is his home school. That's his home school, yes. So we live in Lithonia. That was his main school. He went to Stevenson Middle. He wanted to go to Stevenson High, but he right. had to go through a lottery. Right. He he didn't get picked for the lottery, so he just had to go to Lithonia. I just said that. <laughs> Looking in on Eric as a freshman, who do you think Eric was going to be? Uh, well, initially I didn't I didn't know he was that good of a basketball player. I remember meeting him in his dead on. Uh, uh, the pre-orientation and uh, I can recall uh, talking with his dad and his dad saying that he's a good basketball player and some of the other players said that he was a good basketball player and initially I didn't think he was, I thought he was a little scrawny little kid that uh, that probably couldn't play a lick and everybody just you know saw him as a, a neighborhood basketball player so but I guess we was proven wrong. Looking in on Eric as a freshman who did you think he was going to be? Uh, looking at Eric when he was a freshman, um, and from hearing from about middle school, I actually thought Eric was going to be a star, but I didn't know it was going to get to this type of level. At first, I didn't feel like it was a good fit for him because, I mean, he always been at least on a winning program. And then, like, coming up in high school for me, like, I thought he was always trash and down there every sport. So I was like, man, this, that, like, initially he was supposed to go to Stevenson because the coach, that's Coach McGraw right now was the one recruiting him at Stevenson. Then he went to McGraw, so he wasn't even recruiting Eric no more. So it was like, dang. And then like Latonia as well, they always had a bad rep as far as like being in a bad environment. Like the kids was just it was horrible. That's one of the reasons why I didn't go there as well. It's like it was crazy over there. But I mean, I, I guess it got a little better. But I mean, you know, he did he did some big things ninth grade. I believe they won the ninth grade championship. So that was like a like a, a reassurance saying, okay, well maybe, you know, he can actually do something here at the school. You know, I went to a couple of games, you know, I'd be at work all the time. So I went to a couple of games, ninth grade games. And I was like, all right, they got a little something. Going into, you know, next year's, I feel like they was going to be able to do something. When Eric first came to Lithonia, did you feel as if he was a perfect fit for the basketball program? Uh, yes, uh, I definitely felt like he was a good fit because I like his competitive nature. He started off in the ninth grade with the ninth grade team. He played JV and he excelled in both. Try to get him to play a little varsity, but I don't think he was quite ready for it yet based on the size and the aggression level. Uh, but just seeing him, his attitude, his demeanor towards um, wanting to play basketball, wanting to be a competitor, and, and demanding a starting spot after his ninth grade year told me that he would be a good fit for our program. When Eric first came to Lithonia, did you feel as if he was a perfect fit for the basketball program? I did, but I can tell you um, that Eric was pretty much the man wherever he came from. Command, like, kind of bump heads, and I had to let Eric know that uh, Latonia has been winning without you, you know. But the thing is, though, I knew Eric was going to be a perfect fit, but I knew he was a go getter. Coming into that uh, as a freshman, Latonia, I had the little kid mindset. I didn't really know nobody. I had to get new meet, uh, meet new people. Um, I mean, yeah, ain't nothing really I can say. I mean, I thought that I was, you know, the big dog, but you know how that go with the upperclassmen. So I just had to play my role. And the coach picked me up on the team, and he did. And I played like two, three games by varsity, and then I couldn't play that much because it was the upperclassmen, but then I played ninth grade and JV after that. Um. Well, we had players similar. I think I had one other player similar, uh, Rodney Chapman, that's at Dayton. Uh, competitive nature, what uh, makes uh, 
Erica looked different is, is that he was a little bit more skill set, uh, his awareness on the court, uh, his ability to, to uh, get things done when they were needed, taking over games uh, as, a, as a sophomore and as a junior as well as to his senior year. Uh, so that made him a little bit different. But uh, both of them had that competitive nature. Uh, but what made Eric the kind of exception is that he, he took over games, you know, and, and did things that were, you know, out of the norm. What makes Eric different from other players you've coached before? Great question. Um, Man, I, I, I got to be honest, the difference between Eric and everybody else, Eric has that Kobe mentality, man. He is a warrior when you're in between them lines. And any any day I want to go against somebody that I know that can fight hard or just, just go at it without any regrets or no regrets, Eric's the man. He just has that heart. Was there ever a moment when you felt like like Donya wasn't right for you and what stopped your negative thinking? Uh, when I first got to La Thonia, I thought that it was a bad school because of the past. Um, I didn't really want to go there at first. I wanted to go to Stevenson because that's where I went to middle school at. But um, the people around me, like, I just got to know them so quick. And, like, we just got that connection where it's like, dang, bro, like, we this close now. And now that I'm graduating, it's like I'm going to miss them folks, man. Just because how they make me feel like I need to be at this school. Schools were coming to us, trying to get us to transfer, but I, I didn't feel like, you know, he needed to transfer. He started at Lithonia. He's going to finish at Lithonia. Nobody was moving to another county. Being Eric's coach for four years, what can you say made you a better coach, coaching Eric? Uh, patience, uh, understanding that uh, sometimes you get kids with that much talent. Uh, that they have the ability to do well, they can do great things, but it's been a little bit more understanding and giving them the freedom to play and, uh, and reach their full potential. So being a little bit more patient and understanding his ability. Being Eric's coach for four years, what you say made you a better coach coaching Eric? Uh, just by listening to Eric, man, because one thing about Eric, he's going to speak his mind. And being a coach with this new generation, you can't just tell them what to do. you got to give them a reason why you're doing it. But uh, Eric made me a better coach by just listening to these guys and actually building a relationship with them. If Eric was standing right in front of you right now, what is the best piece of advice you could give him for later on in life? Uh, be prepared to listen. Be, uh, be open uh, to, to improving your game. Uh, be able to communicate uh, and just work hard. You know, uh, it has the potential to reach the highest level. Uh, but just work hard, believe in yourself, and continue to be the competitor that you are. We're standing in front of you right now. What's the best piece of advice you could give him for later on in life? Uh, one thing I would say is um, stay humble. Stay humble because me being a godly man, one thing about God, he's going to give you all the blessings in the world, but the minute that you uh, do not respect the game, he can take it away from you. So that one thing I would say, man, stay humble. What was, um, your, what was your greatest moment at Lithonia? My greatest moment at Lithonia? Uh, I'm going to say my senior night when I scored my 1,000 point. Mr. Eric Gaines, he was being escorted by his mother, his grandmother and his brother. He has been a member of the boys' basketball team here at Lafayette High School for four years. Let's give all our student athletes a round of applause. Before we move into our community, we're trying to get a big for the game. We have to recognize one of our players. Every so often you find players that do a lot of great things here at Lithonia High School. We have a great history of position in basketball. But what we want to do is take the time to right now recognize Eric Gaines. Eric Gaines has reached a thousand points.
Coaching Eric all four years, do you feel he's receiving the recognition he deserves? Being Eric's coach for four years, knowing the talent that he has, do you feel he is receiving the recognition he deserves? Looking back a year ago today, you were unranked and not noticed by anyone. Did you feel that today was possible?